Hey y'all, Anya here from Anya's Reviews. Today I'm reviewing a barefoot shoe brand that I get asked about all the time because it's so cheap. The brand is Witten, it's available on Amazon, and all of these shoes are about $40. So if you go find Witten on Amazon, not all of the shoes are barefoot friendly, so make sure you're looking at the ones that say minimalist or barefoot in the title. Even still, you do need to remove the insole for them to be zero drop because there's a little bit of padding in the heel. Once the insole is removed, they're actually really thin and flexible in both the trail and the running sneakers and the casual sneakers. These casual sneakers come in a bunch of colors in sizes US Women 6 up to a men's 13, which is an EU 36 to an EU 47. They're very high volume with a lot of vertical space. So this is good for tall feet or thick toes or high arches, anything like that. I have shallow feet, so I had to tie the laces really tight and it kind of like bunched up over the top. So another option would be to replace the insole that comes with it with a barefoot insole. Out of 15 other barefoot minimalist sneaker brands that I've tried, these are actually the narrowest by about one millimeter. So they're in the ballpark of a foot friendly shoe, but they're definitely more suited to a narrower foot. Um, they personally don't fit my feet very well. At the end, I'll show a picture of all of those brands in order from narrowest to widest. And I'm also gonna link in the caption to some of my posts that help give you context about how the different barefoot shoe brands compare to each other. On the other hand, the running shoes from Witten are actually pretty good width. They fall right in the middle of barefoot shoe brands. So they're good for wide feet. They fit my feet just fine. They're true to size. These ones are true to size as well. I would say uh, across the board, I got some for me and some for my husband and we both got our normal size and they fit well. The running shoes, they have a neoprene top and then this is elastic for tightening it. So it does work well for low to volume feet and I would say low to medium volume feet. High volume feet, can try to adjust this for more space this direction, but it doesn't have a whole lot of room to go that way. You can see the difference in the height of the toe box just between these two, that the shoe comes up a lot taller than this one. But you do get adjustability with the elastic and the Velcro, which is nice especially if you're like me and you have low volume feet and you need a secure fit. And this is what the outsole looks like. It's got decent traction. Overall, I'm actually surprisingly pleased with the comfort of the shoe. I've been wearing these ones jogging for the last three-ish weeks and, and I like them. They do have US sizes on the listing, but then they come in EU sizes. So that's why it's good to kind of know how they convert. So these are all EU, mine are EU 37, which would convert to a six and a half in US women's. And then my husband's is an EU 46, which converts to a men's 12 and a half. Overall, I'd say they're a good find for the price that they are. Um, they are cheaply made. I mean, what would you expect from Amazon for a $40 sneaker? Um, so I can't say how long they'll hold up over time, but if you're just looking to get into barefoot shoes, then I say go for it. Um, these ones, especially uh, the material feels pretty cheap and the laces are already falling apart, even though I've literally worn these around the block once. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Make sure you head to onyxreviews.com, check out the links in the caption. There's tons of information about transitioning to barefoot shoes, all your different options, depending on your price range, the sole thickness you're looking for, and where you're located in the world. So definitely go check it out, and that's all.